Imagine living next door to a fugitive that's been on the run for 30 years for sexually assaulting a child. WGXA's Brianna Cook spoke with a neighbor of that fugitive that was picked up just yesterday by the U.S. Marshals. He says he would speak with him regularly. Brianna? Greg and Amanda, that is correct. The neighbor tells me he recently found out the truth and it shocked him. Former fugitive Stephen Craig Johnson was arrested in Macon on Tuesday after being on the run for 30 years. He was living at an apartment complex on Vineville Avenue. His neighbors say they saw him frequently. He'd come out every morning about, probably about 6.30 and had a, a walking stick. He'd go out walking down that way or down that way about an hour and he come back. Johnson was in an Oregon State prison convicted for sexual assault and sodomy before he escaped from a prison work detail in 1994. Investigators say he stole the identity of a deceased child named William Cox. Larry Crow was his neighbor for two years. He says he spoke with Johnson often, but never knew much about him. First week I moved here, I met when they called him Bud here. I mean, I didn't even really know his whole name. According to Crow, Johnson kept to himself, living a quiet life on the fifth floor. He didn't, you know, uh, associate with that many people. He, he walked and go back to his apartment. And like I say, he'd get his groceries and all delivered, you know, like Walmart and stuff. He didn't ever mingle too much with people. Johnson was arrested at his apartment complex by the U.S. Marshals. According to them, they were able to locate him with new technology only recently developed. Crow says he was shocked to find out the truth about his neighbor. You don't ever know, but I had no idea that, that he had been escaped 30 years and uh, ped pedophile and all that. You know, it just goes to show everybody here is, you know, really fabulous. Johnson is currently being held at the Bibb County Jail as he waits to be taken back to Oregon. Reporting live in studio, Brianna Cook, WGXA News.